Fritzy has uh, never been more excited this week because we have a Bronco in here, the uh, great uh, linebacker for the Broncos, Von Miller, joining us. Did you know, have you ever had a man who told you flat out that he loved you? Yeah, my dad. Your dad. Yeah. What I about mean, fans? Uh, I mean, I went to school at Texas A&M, so, I mean, it, 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 it gets pretty crazy sometimes, but... You know, I mean, it's not uh, it's not too it's not too odd, you know, especially playing for Denver. So we got we got pretty good fans. Fan base is pretty good there. How many questions do you get about uh, Johnny Johnny football? Um, I don't I don't get too many questions. You know, um, when people ask, you know, I'm I'm excited to tell them. So uh, I mean, it's it's not really a, it's not really a, you know a big deal with me. Even though that's your alma mater, you got a Heisman Trophy there. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I, my, I, you know, all the positive attention that I. Um, that our university can get, I'm, I'm all for it. And, you know, Heisman, it, it really doesn't get any bigger than that. Can he play? I think he can play. You know, of, of course, you know, I'm, I'm biased. You know, I, but I think he's displayed, you know, everything that you could, uh, you know, ask of a, a, a great collegiate quarterback in, his, in just his first year with Texas a &M. If I said that you're going to face a quarterback who's going to stay in the pocket or you're going to face somebody who's, you know, some of these younger quarterbacks, a little bit more mobile, we know what those guys can do in the pocket, though, if they have time. If it's Breeze or Manning or Brady, would you rather face them or Colin Kaepernick, Russell Wilson, those I mean, guys? I think uh, no matter no matter what type of defense you play, you know nobody wants to nobody wants to play a Colin Kaepernick or you know a, a Russell Wilson. Some of those guys that's not just going you know take the sack. You know it's already hard enough to. You know, uh, get get a pass rush on, on great quarterbacks because they do so much protection with themselves. You know, just stepping up and stepping to the left, stepping to the right. So, I mean, you definitely you want to go against a guy that's going to stay in the pocket and you know take the sack. If if you're going against Russell Wilson, you know, it's, you know it's going to be a long day. You know, chasing the guy around. Give me describe for the audience what's what's that like? The split second before you hit a quarterback, and he doesn't know that you're there and you're ready to hit him. What do you think in that split second? I mean. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking, just get him down, you know, by, by any, by any means necessary, you know, within the rules, of course. But I'm, just, I'm just thinking, you know, get him down, because that, that, uh, that split second is usually where you, where you miss the quarterback or you, or you lose the quarterback. You know, they'll spin out. You know, if you close your eyes, you could, you know, you can miss him and, you know, just miss the sack completely. So, I just like to slow down and just, just get both hands on him and get him on the ground. But what's it feel like when you do hit somebody like that? I mean, it's great. I mean, it's, uh, it's not too many. You know things you celebrate about on defense. You know getting you know a big time second. You know big time situations. It's uh, I mean it feels like a defensive touchdown to me. Who have you not gotten yet? I mean it's just a I, I you know I haven't been playing for you know for too long. So I, I think it's um. It's but there's got to be one guy there that you're gonna check off and say. I mean uh, I, I I mean I want I want to play uh, you know Miami Dolphins with uh, with Ryan Tannehill. You know, I, I never got a chance to, you know, go against him in college. So, you know, if if, if I had a list, you know, he, he would definitely be on there. He's uh, Von Miller joining us here in the Man Cave, Dan Patrick Show. Let's go back to the Ravens game. How many times have you replayed the ending of that game? Um, I, the first couple of days after after a loss, you know, I replayed it a lot. You know, I thought about it a lot. And, um, you know, um, about four or five days, you know, a week after after they played the Patriots, it was just uh, – you know, it was it was just done for me. You know, I was just uh, relaxing. You know, um, trying to get my body back. You know, 100 percent and just get ready, just get ready for next year. We did so many great things last season. You know, it's it's it's, uh, it's easy to wash it out. You know, with the loss to the Ravens, but you know, we we got a lot of stuff to build on when we come back. And you know, I'm expecting you know um, bigger things next year for. But would you rather years. lose by two touchdowns? No, than I mean, to lose like the way you did against the Ravens. I would. I I wouldn't want to lose. Either way, you uh, you slice it. I mean, if you uh, if you if you go back to the game, you know we had um, you know ample chances to, to win the game. We had ample chances to put it away, and uh, we just couldn't do it. We just couldn't make that play. And um, you know it's unfortunate, but I, I think we'll learn from it, and you know we'll be better next year. Peyton yell at you at all this year? Nah, I mean he uh, he's pretty tough. You know if we if we getting if we uh, if Peyton Manning's yelling at us, then you know we, we're having a. <laughs> You know, a wonderful day on uh, Broncos versus Broncos at practice. So, what about in practice? I mean, I uh, know it's. Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, you know, the offensive guys they get all that stuff. You know, we we're doing too much. Uh, you know, laughing and, and and all that stuff, trying to you know you know uh, get a rise out of them. So he's got yeah. a good sense of humor. He's, yeah, he's yeah. not afraid to needle some guys. Yeah, I mean, he's he's, he's one of the uh, more hilarious guys I've been around. 
You ever hit him in practice? No, not even come close. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen? I mean, uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just, I don't even, you know, he's just five yard bubble. I mean, I mean, we're not gonna win any games here in practice. You know, second, second the quarterback. So I stay, I stay all the way away from. Him. Um, are you mellow during before a game? Yeah, I mean, um, to me, I just, I feel like. Uh, it's like uh, it's like one on one basketball for me. I it really I really don't get you know too you know amps for it. I love I love playing a game of football. There's nothing you know else I, I've ever wanted to do. And um, when I'm out there, it just it just feels great. You know, there's there's not too many things in this world that that can give you that rush like Sundays in the NFL. Rodney Harrison said he used to throw up before every game. No. Not me. I mean, you got guys who do that on your team. I mean, you, you see it happen. I mean, I've I've been like that before, but. You know, um, this season, I mean, usually it's just I'm just going out there playing. I'm just trying to, you know, not be a, you know, I'm just trying to not be the reason why we lose. We're trying to make all the plays I'm supposed to make. And, you know, a couple of more plays that that put us in great situations. And, you know, I just I just go out there and I have fun. If uh, you were going to give advice to the 49ers uh, defensive line of going up against that mm -hmm. Ravens offensive line that, you know, kept you guys away from Flacco, what what would you tell them what you need to do? I mean, I think I think the 49ers, they're they're pretty good, you know. Without my advice, but if they if they had my advice, I would just say just just be them. I mean, they've been great, you know, all season long with, with Alden Smith and Justin Smith, and you know all the all the other great guys that are going on the line. You know, I think if they just play their game, they'll be that, that's more than enough to win the game. Uh, are you picking the Ravens because the Ravens beat you? I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I mean, I'm I'm neutral. You know, I think the 49ers. You know they've been playing, you know, some pretty good football up until this point. And I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I would like to see the 49ers win. I have, you know, my, my little brother plays D line, you know, for the 49ers. So I'm, I mean, I'm hoping to see the 49ers win. But both of those teams are great, and both of those teams of are, are deserving and have their reasons of why they want to win. Dick Sporting Goods, did you bring gifts today? Yeah, I brought a, brought a jersey. You brought a jersey. Yes, sir. Wait, but is this from me or Fritzy? No, I got Frisky that the football cleat last time. Oh, so that's right. I oh, got well. you the jersey. All right, there you time. go. I got my, my Von Miller. <laughs> now, when you leave, I might give it to Fritzy. Just right, so yeah, you know. Cool. Is cool. that all right? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> would you would you uh, sign that though? Can yeah. you can you sign that with the uh, Sharpie there? And will that show off my guns if I uh, <laughs> if I wear? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 you got, I think you got to. Get some uh, hostess custom made. For, for oh, you those. do? <laughs> oh, okay. Now I'm here with uh, Dick Sporting Goods, and they have this cool feature called um, Jersey Report on uh, DickSportingGoods.com. Yeah. You can you can go in there, and you can track you know your favorite, you can track your favorite player and, and his jersey sales you know throughout the year. I started at you know number ten for the defensive guys, then you know, went all the way up to number three. So I think it's, it's a pretty cool feature on uh, DickSportingGoods.com. Also. You can check out um, Dick Sporting Goods Facebook page, and they have a, a cool new, uh, you know, contest that's going on right now where you can win a five hundred dollar gift card or um, your favorite player jersey. So uh, the website is DickSportingGoods.com. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, on the way out, would you give Fritzy a look at him over there? Fritzy wants to here, <laughs> here, there, Fritzy. <laughs> There you go. Would you give Fritzy a hug on the way out? Yeah, I got you. I got you. He's a good man. He's a good man. I appreciate the jersey. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, uh, Vaughn. Good to see you, man. All righty. Congrats. Yes, All right. sir. Vaughn Miller, uh, DickSportingGoods.com.